graduates from kindergarten to junior high school have returned to school today after being in the house for almost 10 months. How are school authorities going to handle these young ones? Let's find out. We as a public school and an institution of the state, we are complying with the directives of the state with regards to the safety protocol. So hand washing and the running water uh, with soap, encouraging the children to wear their face masks, and then we we'll also continue to educate them on the impact of the pandemic. So as to encourage them, whether within the premises of the school or outside, they will still continue to adhere to the protocols. So basically these are the things that we are going to do to ensure that. Government has been supplying face masks. When the Form 3s were here, government provided them with face masks. When the Form 2s were here, government provided them with face masks. In fact, from here, I'm going for some of the PPEs, including face masks. But we also encourage parents to uh, give the children some, encourage them to wear. We are asked not to have a class of more than 60 children. So where we have more than 60, then we'll consider the shift system. But until such a time, we are not going to run a shift system. What is so important has to do with the education that I talked about. So when we educate the children, um, as we talk, you are in marks, I'm in marks. If any of us is COVID-19 positive, it will be difficult for the person to pass on to the other. And so we we'll always make sure that the hand wash containers have water and soap and tissue paper for them encourage them to be washing their hands and government also provided um, hand sanitizers for the form twos they were form threes they were given twice before they completed the session and i'm sure it will be part of the package that will be coming today so that um, we'll put all that together to ensure that the children are safe what is so important is the preventive measures that are put in place. So we'll suck them up so that they come to terms with the situation because we don't know how long this pandemic is going to be with us and uh, life must continue. So that is basically as a school, uh, that will be what we'll be doing to ensure that the children, uh, they don't panic, yet they are cautious of themselves and then they maintain the safety protocols. As much as possible also we want to discourage the number of visitors who visit us and uh, especially if you are without marks then we have to turn you back so that we ensure that the environment is clean. We will just discourage anything that can strengthen the virus to operate. We have to break all those things. You know, once there's crowd, a lot of guarding, then the virus becomes stronger. So we'll discourage all such things. First of all, we further downsize the number of children in the classroom. Um, social distancing, you can see. But before they come in, we have their temperatures taken. They, do, they wash their hands thoroughly. We give them the alcohol wrap to wrap their hands. And then they also disinfect their footwear before they walk in into the class. And everybody is supposed to stay in their classroom. So now movement is a bit limited. Playtime and everything will be staggered just to help the kids. What's the number of students in the class since you cut down? 12. Yes, and some are even lesser, they are lesser than 12. We have 8, 10, 11, but a majority of 12. So what we have, we have a holding room 
and you realize COVID comes with a lot of symptoms. However, until the child is proven medically, we cannot conclude. So we, when we realize such, we take the child to the holding room where the, it's just like a classroom, a very comfortable place, and then we place a call to the parents and also the uh, municipal health directly. But before we do that, the parents must be in the known, yes. and then they take it from there. We've, they've all had um, a lot of training. We've had our health team come in, in to talk to the teachers. They know what to do. Over here, before COVID, there hasn't been any discrimination, and it's going to be the same. Yes, they've been trained to help the kids in case of anything. Our advice to parents is that the school is ready to admit their kids safe. They should be confident and bring their kids. However, if a child is not feeling well, kindly stay at home so that you seek proper medical treatment before they come back. Okay. We've seen the initials of students written on their nose mask. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, it's also a measure put in place to um, stop the kids from sharing nose masks. So everybody knows who this is for. In case it drops, everybody knows who this is for. And it also helps the teachers to take track records of all the nose masks. They also have spare nose masks in their bags. In case um, any of them get torn or missing, we can quickly give them that. Those were some school authorities speaking to us. They've assured parents of strict adherence to the COVID-19 safety protocols. Ernestina Sawa Asante, reporting for Ghana Web.